Now, look, what I what, what really bothers me about Tim Waltz, it's not even the positions that he's taken, though certainly he has been a far-left radical. You know what really bothers me about Tim Waltz as a Marine who served his country in uniform? When the United States Marine Corps, when the United States of America asked me to go to Iraq to serve my country, I did it. I did what they asked me to do, it, and I did it honorably, and I'm very proud of that service. When Tim Waltz was asked by his country to go to Iraq, you know what he did? He dropped out of the army and allowed his unit to go without him, a fact that he's been criticized for aggressively by a lot of the people that he served with. I think it's shameful to prepare your unit to go to Iraq, to make a promise that you're going to follow through, and then to drop out right before you actually have to go. Sheriff, he's over here. He said we shouldn't allow weapons that I used in war to be on America's streets. Well, I wonder, Tim Waltz, when were you ever in war? When was this, what was this weapon that you carried into war given that you abandoned your unit right before they went to Iraq and he has not spent a day in a combat zone? What bothers me about Tim Waltz is the stolen valor garbage. Do not pretend to be something that you're not. bad feeling about this. Waltz did make a comment speaking to a group, he's done it a couple of times, where he has used language that has suggested that he carried weapons in a fighting situation. As you know, with your contact with the military, I know from coming from a military family, there is a difference between being in a combat area, being involved at a time of war, and actually being in a position where people are shooting at you. There is no evidence that at any time Governor Waltz was in a position of being shot at, and some of his language could easily be seen to suggest that he was. So that is absolutely false when he said that about, about uh, gun rights out there. Well, I wonder, Tim Waltz, when were you ever in war? When was this, what was this weapon that you carried into war given that you abandoned your unit right before they went to Iraq? But he did at one point say, right, he talked about, quote, weapons that he carried in war. He was never in combat. Oh boy. You know, we, we can, you can sit here and debate. He, he left when he left. Um, it doesn't, you know, he was also had kids. Maybe he was like, oh, I'm not going. Mm. And this is a time for me to go. How convenient. Their explanation, the best version of it is, yeah, I didn't want to go. Right. Um, that's not exactly a way to go in and woo military veterans. Yeah. You did an incredible job, partner. <laughs> Look at him. He's stunned. He can't believe it. (laughs) And when folks vote, they order what they want. And in this case, they got what they asked for. 